Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. You might be asking right now, How long, Lord, shall we wait? How long, Lord, shall we endure? How long shall we wait for the answer to the, our prayers? We've been praying for how many years? Like to 2020, we've been praying since February. We've established a prayer group that we're praying every other night and praying really for this pandemic to stop. But how long shall we wait? How long shall we hide? How long shall we uh, be in lockdown? There's so many questions going on with our lives, with our thoughts, in our thoughts. But God knows the answer. We just need to learn to trust in Him. Trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding because we don't know really. We don't understand what's going to happen, what's the plan of God through this. But we know that He is doing something great out of this. And as we proceed, we know Christians believe really that the 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 result of this pandemic have drawn a lot of people a lot of souls into the hands to the feet of god they allow them to bow down to to humble themselves they acknowledge really that without god in their lives they are nothing because if they are depending on their jobs depending on their on their businesses depending on their money all of those were weakened because of this pandemic but the promise of the Lord is there to hold on to. We remember he said in Isaiah 43, I have redeemed you by your name. I have called you by your name. You are mine. So if you are taking that, we are owning that promise of the Lord that we are his. Whatever is happening in our lives, we are not excluded in experiencing the effect of this pandemic. All of us are experiencing that. All of us are <clears throat> into buying high prices. All the, the goods that we're buying right now are all almost into double. But we are depending on the promises of the Lord that whatever happened, we are going to be standing firm because we know that He is in our heart. He is our provider. He is our protector. He is the, uh, our sustainer. He is the lifter of our head that when we are down, just lift up our head and pray. If we could look up, then we could get up from where we are. So remember his promise that he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we raise the fear in our hearts because fear really, if we're going to define fear, it is false evidence appearing real. So, if, so uh, fear does not have to do with us as Christians because what we have is the Holy Spirit residing in us. If He is residing in us, we have His fruits. What are the fruits of the Holy Spirit? We can find in Galatians 5.22. It's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, you name it. You have all those. If you know that you are practicing really what you are supposed to be practicing, you have received the power that the Holy Spirit has given you, the power and authority to trample all the works of the enemy and sickness. COVID is not excluded. It is there inclusive. So stand to your firm because God has given us the keys to his kingdom. And what's the key? He said in John 14, 6, 14 verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one could come to the Father except through me. So it is Jesus saying there that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way. Why he is the way? Because once we receive him into our world, we welcome him to sit, to sit at the center of our heart, meaning we allow him to direct our thoughts, our minds, our uh, our plans, our dreams, our aspirations in life. He is the one taking control. So nothing that we're going to do that we are not going to lay it before Him first. We pray it first. We lay down to Him and ask for His 
a revelation regarding it. So when we know that He is the way and He is the truth, every word, every um, rumors or that we're hearing that's not giving us encouragement, that's not lifting our spirits up, it's not from Him because His words are supposed to give life, to give the truth, the truth that will set us free. So unless we have Him, we will not be able to go through, go into the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. So we have Jesus as our key. So Jesus, is God, the, king, the kingdom of heaven is on our in our hands because we have the key. So we know how to use the key. Like when you have the key, when the door is closed and you have the key, no matter how close it is, no matter how many locks are there, if you have those keys, you can be able to unlock it and you can be able to enter into that room. If it's so noisy outside, if it's so hot and not uh, comfortable outside, then you can get into that room and be at peace with the Lord. So that's the kingdom of heaven to be uh, with Him, living our lives with Him in order to experience the fullness of Him that He promised, that He came to give us an abundant life and um, it doesn't mean to say that we are not going to experience these uh, turmoils trials and persecutions we are not in excluded from there but he said i have overcome the world and so you too should be able to overcome it because he is already seated in there in the center of our hearts he uh, our body is his dwelling place so when he is there we allow him to to operate in our lives if not if you are operating our thoughts our own thoughts not his own thoughts his ways our ways not his own ways that we expect that on the way or in the process we gonna be stumbling and we will never um accomplish or achieve a great result that's that's glorifying to his name but only lasts for for um for a short time for a while so brothers and sisters stay stay standing firm trust the lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding don't live in fear that false evidence appearing clear don't keep on declaring negative words don't keep on declaring worry i think i've given a a word uh, i mean a definition for worry as well is a uh, wrong w stands for wrong a uh, realization of a uh, reflection uh, uh, what is that what is it wrong um worry is wrong orientation of the realization of uh, a reflection of yourself i think i think that w stands for wrong o stands for orientation r reflection uh r another r is realization of yourself reflection realization of yourself so you have you are worrying because you don't know who you really are you are thinking of of your own abilities not the uh, capabilities of god the enablement of the lord but you are thinking of your own you are seeing your resources and it is um limited very limited but when you see yourself as as he is in heaven so you are in here on earth everything that you could do is limitless you, it's boundless you have no limitations as long as it is in accordance with the will of the lord it is boundless and it is really uh, giving glory to him and at the same time you are really benefited of its values of its um <clears throat> of its fruit of what of, of what he could do to, uh, could bring to your life for your well-being so that's it brothers and sisters and hope you have uh, you are encouraged to not to fear but to trust the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. God bless you and hope and praying that you know who you are, that you are the son and daughter of God called by your name. You are his.
God bless you. God bless you.